Hello and welcome back. This is episode five, and also I got pranked. So, uh, by snow golems. And I think it was by uh, King Coop. There was a snow golem spawner right here. I don't know how he got it. I think it was Coop. And he also spawned in a bunch of iron golems. And um, I think this is a very harmless prank, but also I was not expecting something like this. And yeah, it is interesting. And also I extended my rail like going this way all the way to like the sheep farm. We were you know, teens men farm. Oh teens like arena here is and there was like a sheep farm here, but it's going all the way to here. Peach is gonna build like a whole station. Uh it's way easier to have it like this than like have it underground, but it's still worth it. And I'll have my rail extend into my mega base or something over there. I'm gonna build a airship here, maybe to they start to figure out. I don't know, show when it's built because I have to figure out how it's gonna be built. And it's gonna be really interesting. And I'm gonna show where my what I'm gonna build. But um, for my mega base, but first will be like my docking station, and then figure out what else there. So I'll show it right now. So right here is my uh, start of the mega base. It's like in a jungle biome. Right here is going to be a start. Like there'll be like a station, and there'll be an airship here, like, and the uh, portals are going to be right in it. So like, we arrived on the airship into my city but i have to cut down trees and make something here you can make a routine wall or something something really cool i mean like bricks and stone or maybe some smooth stone and some fog lights oh what the what what happened what just happened uh wait my wings broke oh so oh, oh boy um that's the first time it ever happened to me. <laughs> My wings broke. Oh. Oh no. That way, I guess I'm walking home from now. I have to repair my wings. That was so unexpected. Oh no. Well, um, as I was saying, like, this is where I'm going to build, but, um, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna build the airship over there and have to build like a thing here for this airship. And uh, I'll figure out, I have to figure out design. I'm gonna show it when I build it. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm winning this now. The wings broke. Eh, how about that? At least they land in water. Not on the ground. Oh no. So, main progress right here is like the giant uh, trim here. Like, oh, that was my last part of work. Thank you. Like, going around here, then having granite, punch granite, and then bamboo. And here's like the start of where the entrance is. Here's some grass. This is like, like right here, like outlining deep slate, like the just deep state like I would even my rail going over there there's gonna be like a cargo bay or well, ship bay right here I'm thinking of an idea like you know you usually have like storage wars and like for auction I'm gonna have cargo wars like there's a cargo ship there's containers and like how you have storage war wars you look you can in the storage like what's in there, and then you bid on it. It's going to be the same concept, but in a cargo ship with containers. So like, you press a button, the sand falls, like concrete, sand, powder. You look in the container, and then it closes up, and then everyone bids on it. That's an idea. And I know like I didn't do a ton of or anything, but I had to figure out on what I was going to do, but it took a lot and also 
the frog legs were from peach to the purple. Come on. You're not invited. You're not invited. That's why you're not invited. Sheesh. So, frog lights were from Peach, but the vines weren't there before. That was like from the jungle trees and stuff. Uh, it looks a little bit, I guess, like a little old. I might keep it. Frog lights from Peach, all purple. It took a while to figure out the design that having the cow's head and the dining rig with the brick and sandstone. Then you have the polished granite with the with the walls and then the slabs on top with like a nice rail. Like it's like a really fancy build here, you can say. Like you're coming into a fancy place. Like I have Mo and like with her apartments somewhere. I don't know, in the negative direction, don't know exactly. And uh but here is even more fancy. But for Mo, she like does like 15 diamonds per week like, renting out. For me, it's gonna be like buying out like apartments or something. And um I done a map here, like mapped out the whole area like this well before this, but uh, I know it's gonna update when I break it. But uh this is like how it, the whole island looks. So like right here is the uh ships, like because it looks pretty perfectly flat. Of like maybe two or three like platforms coming out like the different ships now like maybe over here or over here and have the cargo ship with the containers i have depresso like paid them nine diamond blocks to cut down all these trees on this island itself i actually don't know how much it's been done because i cut down a lot of trees i done like some mining uh off cam like with a beacon there and uh Bridge, um, help me. I never fill in the ground, but I don't most of it. And pretty much, like, I took a while to figure out like what I wanted to have here. I did want like three, like pillars here, but it came with up with three pillars here. Like, it's like a grand entrance, like because you're coming in airship here, and there'll be another dock here, but. It'll be empty because the airship is like and my starter base and it's coming up here and there'll be like the portals up there with the lodestone in the building and then compasses are going to be distributed in the mail room on the server for people to come but um well the thing is people also will come like by the wordness i have on screen and i already had a couple of people come like Depresso is helping Bridge came Ducky and Wedge and they, and they were like holy I think this is so huge but um I'm like thinking I will have to think of the design I'm a little bit here uh I'll cut back like on uh how it looks so hmm <laughs> okay and here we are back with that nice sweet transition to my nice entrance with a nice spiral pillars with a nice big emerald S's to a nice like lobby area with a nice fountain and a cool design with the quartz slabs coming up here to this area which will be another stairway coming up to there and then another one to the airships like airship here other airship not there in my other base the map area like how it was mapped out is i'm starting at and <clears throat> this is how it got transformed and i have a beacon right there because like trying to get some stone and it looks really good. So like you can really see on how much has transformed here. Like I finished most of the retaining wall and have the rail going. Like that one's going into a mountain and that one's going straight, but I have no idea how 
where we're going to do there. And then that one is going to have a bridge going on to the other side and expansion area here. And this looks really cool. And over here, this is going to be the cargo port. Oh, I said, and here is going to be like a ship, like, like the cargo ship, like containers and the whole cargo wars, which is a unique idea. And I will have this done today and do cargo wars. And this will be a long video, but I really want to have this game up and running for this real fun game I'm thinking of. So let's pop into a uh, slideshow time lapse. So right here, I uh, done like a slideshow time lapse of my uh, retaining wall for like the cargo port. But um, I was doing originally so a lot of time lapse for this, but then I just kind of scrapped it because I uh, had some twerks to figure out. But <clears throat> this first time building a boat, so like uh, I never built one, so just bear with me. I'm kind of trying to think of something. I don't know what it looks like now, but it's supposed to be a cargo container, but here's going to be red concrete and then like container ship containers for the for the cargo wars but um there's the conduit there got to a drain there so right here is my cargo container for the container ship i have like uh i don't know like eight container ships because this is going to be cargo wars and uh chevy musa like finished up this whole container like detailed it <clears throat> and this is so worth it uh and like having like all the detail like finishing up the sides of the ships of the ship and even having like this this full deck wait did he yeah he did and this is a cool deck like that's been done like for like that i forget i don't know the name like i'm not very good with ships like i don't know the ships and stuff but it's so cool and uh over here is gonna be a cargo port like i'm gonna f maybe do the next episode after the cargo wars and over there is gonna be like over there like i'm just building over there like on the right side there's gonna be like where the giant tiger trees are so there's gonna be a whole tram station and I've been really busy, like really busy, trying to build this giant airship that I've been following a tutorial on. And it's, it took me like maybe around, like, I don't know, 26, 28, maybe even 30 hours, but uh, here's the grand reveal. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hey, this is a work of art. Steampunk airship. Copper. Like, and everything is done here. The finest detail from Len Zbu. I hope I, like, pronounced his YouTube channel correctly. And man, this is such a beautiful build. So much credit is worth to him. I love it. I changed up like this uh, bottom here, like to make it a little bit cooler. Like you have like the white terracotta, like it was fully white, but then I changed the bottom like to red concrete to make it kind of look cooler. But this is real cool steampunk. Like all the gears are turning the giant, like, like strong flame. Like I actually never done something this huge before, and this first i'm making a flame and i love it like the white's like super hot then yellow and then orange and then red like fire sign stuff making it 
and having like this split of like little reds going off to the sides to make it even looks like it's super hot going really fast and i like the and he has had this like for the giant three cogs like the main axle is being spun for like the airship being moving like the giant pistons and stuff and it's so cool and then such a menacing build like on a super cool and i have like a person here building on here like by my uh like island because i didn't want them to build over there somewhere i don't know and it's like their library and this is vanny's library i know vanny like some like i have nice and freddy's vanny the bunny Actually, there was a bunny, and honestly, the bunny terrified me. Um, yeah, sorry, Benny, uh, if you're watching this. <laughs> that skin terrified me. And um, I love this build. And I know there's the whole mob vote thing going on. Like, and honestly, at first, I wanted to have the crab. I know. But... I want all three mobs now. I want to have them all. Crab, armadillo, and penguin. And crab is good for like extended reach. Penguin is good for boats. Armadillo is good for dogs. Dark armor. But they're all so cute. Come on. Why not have them all? And the mob vote. And all the mobs. Like, you know. Add all the previous mobs. Seriously. Like 2017, then 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 2022, and then 2023 20, this year. Like, we didn't get the Savannah update or the Desert update. And like the other updates like to do with the biome selector thing. Like, seriously. We don't even have those. Come on. And the mobs from there, like, what is wrong with you? Like, you said you're gonna add them into the game later, and we got a swamp, but we didn't get the others. I want a spend update, desert update, I want all the updates. Seriously. So, I'm gonna do a giant banner here. You saw the scaffolding up there, and I want to make a giant banner here i don't know what it's going to say but i kind of want him to like maybe white or something i don't know hopefully but uh i really want like some kind of cool banner and um oh come on this is so cool but yes i'm thinking of having a giant banner right there coming out like and saying like maybe my name in emerald or vote all mobs i don't know i want to do something cool here because it feels like it's lacking something here but i've never done banners i've never done this I've never done a ship this is the longest tutorial i've ever followed for me and honestly i've done so much on here so please please consider subscribing if you want more content like this put on notifications and put them to all let's hop into a slideshow time lapse for the second time so let's go the time lapse and i'm saying add all meaning to add all previous and present mobs into the game just as for the all the mobs that were left out and the 2017 and the cargo wars over there 
I'm gonna have it for next episode. I'm gonna have it, like it didn't really work out for this episode, but it will be there. And uh Chavi like I already showed Chevy like uh sorry, you know, Chevy, not Chavi, like done like detailed work on here. But uh thank you for that. And uh, right here is gonna be a cargo bay and like cargo port build. Maybe like I can have the presser help me with this. Is a uh, it's big. And I'm gonna have right here the tram station, like maybe round batch or something. I don't know. I'm gonna maybe like the other times. Right here's gonna be our iron golem farm. And yeah. So uh, this was a lot of progress today. Uh, this was like a lot of progress in like one episode, but next episode is gonna be less progress. I just don't wanna, I'm gonna take a little bits at a time. I don't wanna like go giant. That was just for one thing. I'm gonna like maybe do a little bit more building on the entrance. And um, yeah. And uh, that's Vanny's library. I already said that. Uh, Vanny's a great person. Like, he's already great. He's going to have, like, all uh, the books. You know, like, someone's going to write down something and put it in here. And, uh, yeah, there's an enchanting room right there. And, uh, and like, right here. You know, like, if you want to put a... In the bookshelf, you have to contact Vanny. And you put the books in there or check out and I'll uh, see you on the next one. So good bye.